Irina Viktorovna Gaydamachuk was born on May 22, 1972, in the city of Nyagan, Kontimansi Autonomous Okrug, Soviet Union. At a young age, she became addicted to alcohol, and accordingly, her parents were deprived of parental authority. She moved to Krasnovimsk, Sverdlovsk Oblast in the early 1990s, where she met her husband Yuri, with whom she later had two children. Gidimachuk's alcoholism was so severe that Yuri, fearing that she would spend the money on alcohol, refused to provide her with money. In 2002, Gidimachuk started killing old women, as they have little resistance and they live alone and have pension money. She pretends to be a social worker to get into the women's homes, killing them with an axe or hammer by smashing their skulls, and then robbing her victims, ages 61 to 89, for whatever money she finds. Police say the murders she committed have collected around £1,000, or just over $1,000, from her victims. She would occasionally kill for just £20. Gidimachuk would sometimes set fire to the victim's house, trying to cover her tracks, sometimes trying to make the fire look like an accident. Police have linked the deaths, but the investigation lacks many clues. The majority of crimes were committed in the hometown of Krasnovimsk, with some in Ekaterinburg, Serov, Ake, and Druzanino. In 2010 Gaydamachuk tried to kill another elderly woman, but she managed to escape. The potential victim reported to the police that the killer had just attacked her and that she was a female, as the police initially believed that only a male killer could be so cruel. The police investigated 3,000 suspected women. And in the same year, Gidimachuk murdered her last victim, Alexandra Povaritsina, whom a neighbor saw her leave around the time of the murder. After the police received the information from Povaritsina's neighbor, they arrested Gaydamachuk, who quickly confessed to the murders. After pressure from the authorities, committing murders. Gidimachuk stated that she committed murder and robbery to pay for vodka to feed her from alcoholism. As her husband refused to give her money for it. A friend said, I simply cannot believe that Irina is a mass murderer. She was a kind and gentle mother, who was always eager to help. In February 2012, the case began in Ekaterinburg. Gidimachuk admitted to the indictment during the initial investigation but did so throughout the trial. A forensic examination showed that Gidimachuk, although she showed some mental illness, was legally sane at the time of the murders. In June 2012, Gaydamachuk was charged with 17 counts of murder and one count of attempted murder, and she was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Relatives of the victims were outraged by the short term of the sentence, noting that Gidimachuk should have received a little more than a year for each killing, adding that she should never be released.